I'm going to show you a little bit of how I think, how I process. It's not going to be a video to show you a beautiful dance, but you can make one all yourself. Again, very relaxed ankle. Lift, drop, pull, throw, fall. So here we have singles. We have doubles. Which can go backwards as well. Or sideways. We have triples. And then we have quadruples. And the quadruples involve something I call a straight leg shuffle. It goes back to the creation five. You're straightening your leg up totally relaxed. It can be in any direction around your body and you make your shuffle with a straight leg. Two sounds but a straight leg. And then I'm going to do a pull back on the creation five and then step on it. Four total sounds. Quadruple. The quintuplet is a double shuffle step. We put all these together. You can drill them. Back and forth, speed them up, change the rhythms, whatever you'd like to do. Paddle and roll, some people call them paradiddles. I personally don't call them paradiddles because a paradiddle in drumming looks like this. The only thing they really share in common is that steady stream of metric time. But the paddle and roll is actually a dig back step heel. Again, we all call things different. We all agree on that shuffle. Paddle and roll. The next basic I'd like to talk to you about is called the star. I call it the star because it kind of looks like a star when you do it on both sides until you do it at the beach and then it doesn't look like a star at all in the sand, but that's beside the point. It's the star. Now I use this step for my students to teach as well as other things what I look at as a ball change. And you're thinking, ball change? I didn't see any ball changes in that. But here's the catch. A traditional ball change looks like this. Sometimes people will call this a ball change or a ball stamp. Notice the tone difference, which is also something I'm very, very attuned to. Ball change. Now, I think if an original ball change can be changed to this, and everybody agrees it's still a ball change. Why can't it be any part of your feet? Because the magic of a ball change is that you're not going anywhere, and you can have fancy ball changes. But it's still a ball change. I didn't go anywhere. So it's all about whether I'm shifting my weight. I need a new name for that puppy, but right now we'll just say it can be any part of your foot, a ball change. Now that star is, a, is, a, is ball changes. So we have ball change, I'm not moving, and then I move. Watch. Ball change, ball change, ball change. I took a step, I'm moving over, and I ball change the other foot. Only a single sound transfer. So if I wanted to change that to a double, it would look like this. A double drawback. If I wanted to do a triple, otherwise known as the Cincinnati, but I can also do a quadruple. and so on. So I can keep adding those sounds, but it's always still a drawback. My purpose in finding a way to have a language of tap dance is that you can go and take a tap glass from anybody, but look for what you already know. Don't look at things as brand new. You already know the language of tap dance if you've had good teachers, which I'm sure you have. Look for what you already know and look for the variation on the theme. The single essence. It's got a ball change involved, so I would call it a single, single essence.
All right, so I have one full weight change, that's a single, and then it's got a ball change in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and classify that as a single because I'm only one sound on the foot being put on the floor, right there. All right, so you have single, ball change. I could get picky and say single, 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 but we're not gonna get into that yet. So you could do, well, let's see what happens. Those were all essence. But what I was thinking, single, double, triple, played around with the rhythm a little bit, but the basis was the essence. Double Irish. So a triple Irish. A quadruple Irish. A quintuplet Irish. Again, step we all know. Now what's wonderful with that step, really simple, but here's the first little wonderful magic that, again, the soles of your feet is based on. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now again, just a basic. Always work on your left. Okay? Now that I would consider a single single cramp roll. Double single cramp roll. Double double. Triple double. Triple quadruple. Okay? You see what I mean? It's still a cramp roll, but with variations. Now, the cousin is a grab-off, so I'm going to take away the preparation step and call the maxi this. Here's your grab-off. Instead of doing this, I'm going to do a step. A maxi is already a triple, a double maxi, and a single maxi. So grab-off double, and a single, which is just a ball change. It's really cool. Not only do you have the singles, doubles, triples, quadruples, and quintuples to play with, but add heels. Change up the rhythm. Do something, but take the basic and play with just the basic. So let's take an example. What if I said, I'm going to take a four-point riff, and I want to just put a heel between all the sounds? Four-point riff. I wish we had more than nine minutes. It's pretty tough to show you what I love to play with in just those nine minutes. So take your basics. Play with them. Add a heel. Change the rhythm. Turn a single step into a triple step. Take a stomp time step and put it in a different rhythm. That's a fun one. Just started with a stomp time step. It's an endless world of possibilities.